Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to make the back armor to your sci-fi character using annotation method. So let's get started. To get started, we're going to start using the annotation tool. So press this button here, and I'm going to start creating the pieces. You should get the general idea once I've finished at least like one or two pieces. So that's the first piece. So here's the second piece. So you should start getting the idea. And I'll start working on the lower section here. All right, so here's the rest of the back piece. I'd say I'm pretty much done with planning it out. So I'm gonna start modeling it now. I'm gonna start from top and then go down, uh, but I'm gonna model one piece at a time. So I'm gonna start modeling the first piece with the plane. So shift A, create a plane, move it up and start moving it into position. Rotate it on the X axis and then like kind of move it back. So it's around the back area. So I'm going to delete half of it, so I'll create an edge loop down the middle, delete one face, mirror it. So I'm going to go to back view, so press 1 on your numpad, and press 9 to flip it around to the back, and then I'm going to start uh, splitting this, so that way we can basically start working on it one half at a time. Here I'm just going to this way. Add another trip here. I'm just creating edge loops so I, that I can extrude outward and rotate everything in its place. Now we can turn on clipping again and merge these two vertices, uh, I mean edges, and then start creating this design here. This little like dip. So now we have to start kind of aligning it. So I'm going to start moving this set of edges here. I'm going to press Shift Alt and then click uh, on this set of edges here. If I'm, once I'm in edge mode, and then I'm going to move it. Because this is supposed to wrap around the, the collars a little bit. So actually, I'm, I'm going to have to create an extra edge loop here. So that way I can kind of extrude it better. So here I'm just going to press E, move this, and then uh, we'll, we'll uh, merge this, this half and the front piece uh, later on, but right now we're just going to be focusing on modeling the pieces. So we've pretty much almost gotten done with this piece. It's very angular, looks nice, for like a sci-fi look. So now I'm going to start modeling uh, this section here. So let's get started. So I'm going to take one of the pieces uh, from this piece, or the, one of the faces, I mean, and I'm going to duplicate it so I can move it downward and move on this piece. So shift, shift, shift D. I'm going to press P to separate it by selection. Because now it's a whole another piece. And just start kind of aligning it. I'm going to turn on clipping. And this piece should be pretty simple. Because it's just like pretty straight on basically like a square. So that's pretty much done. And uh, we'll add solidify modifier later. So that way we can add thickness to everything. So now we're going to start making this piece. So I'm going to duplicate one of these faces here. Move it into position. And I'm going I'm to separate this face. So press P. Separate by selection. And I'm going to turn on subdivision service modifier because it's going to curve around the ribs a bit. Uh, and we're going to need a bit more than just one face. We need multiple faces. So looks kind of weird with the subdivision service modifier on, but uh, it'll make sense when I start sharpening everything up. But all I'm going to basically do for the rest of this piece is just extrude around the ribs, so like this, and then add edge loops to help kind of make sure it wraps around the body and not clip through it. That's all I'm doing. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with this piece. So I'm done with this piece here, and now I'm going to start making this one. But all I did to finish off this one was sharpen up the edges here. Because uh, whenever you leave it with subdivision surface, it just rounds off the edges quite a bit. So we got to sharpen it up by uh, adding edge loops. But anyway, we're going to start making this one. I'm going to do the same thing I did here. So let's take this back piece and uh, ship duplicate one piece, one face I mean. Separate it and uh, 
move it into position. And we extrude it this way. Turn on clipping, so that way it uh, merges together. We're almost done with this piece. It's pretty simple. Uh, but we're just going to basically sharpen everything up. And that's pretty much it. Just like that. That's, that's done. Alright, so this is my uh, waist armor pieces. Uh, but pretty much all I did was do the same thing I did up here. I just created a face and I extruded sideways, uh, make sh making sure that it aligned with the uh, design for my annotation. And it's pretty low poly, so it's pretty easy to make. And uh, you know, once you get it from good from one angle, then you kind of go from side view, and you'll start like wrapping it around the waist a little bit. <coughs> but uh, for these little sections here, I'm just gonna add some cubes in order to like has it kind of like tubes. I think it'll look pretty cool. So pretty much all I did for uh, this little section here is just add three cylinders. I used one and then I duplicated it twice. So that way uh, we have these other two. But uh, you just have a cylinder. Uh, you can scale it up and then like scale it to make it a little bit stubbier or the opposite and more narrow. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, but now we're pretty much done with the back piece. Uh, but I'm going to add some more modifiers to finish everything up a bit. So I'll see you here in a second. So to finish everything off, I added uh, the Shade Smooth tool. So you know, right click on any piece, Shade Smooth. You go from Shade Flat to Shade Smooth. I did this for all the pieces. Uh, but as you can see, it looks a little weird because it looks kind of like rounded when it actually should be pretty flat and angular. So to fix that, I'm going to add, add the uh, Edge Split modifier to each piece. And you'll see kind of how it looks. So see here in a second. So with the click of a button, I've pretty much fixed all of my shading problems by having the edge split modifier on each piece. So you can see the difference when you go from this, you add the edge split modifier. It's very easy to fix. So we are officially done with the back piece, uh, but later on we'll add some more details to fill everything in. And, uh, you know, with the Under Armour, you kind of see, it's it's causing, it's causing some problems, but it's really just on my side. I can fix that pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, for everyone, it's a little different. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave a, a comment down below. And I'll try to answer them. And if you could please like and subscribe, uh, it would really help out my channel quite a bit right now because the gains are huge starting off. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.